All right, guys. So we are looking again at the uh, mod that's going to be coming out for textures and basically how you can paint your house. So it's how you can make your house go from this on this side to this. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how this works today uh, on the inside and maybe a little bit on the outside. Depends on how much we can get done. So basically what you do is you take out your hammer, go into your menu. If you're doing over pre-existing, stay on the hammer open that menu and then hit L like Larry and then what you're gonna do is pick the color that you want on the I have dual walls so it really doesn't matter for me but you would pick the color you want inside and out if you only have a single wall so because I'm doing double walls my inside I want to be this And then come over here to your right and enable mesh painting and I want smooth so I'm gonna pick smooth now if I was doing inside and out I would pick the green which is two sides so on your left hand side in the texture palette you would pick the color you want on the inside and the color you want on the outside then you would come over to the right into the mesh palette and you would pick double-sided and if you want it smooth so you do smooth and double-sided <clears throat> okay so I'm going to show you how it works I need to knock all this down I'm not painting over this because it's not a vanilla piece you can only paint over vanilla and you can only build vanilla so I'm going over here and I'm going to pick building a wall and so that I don't have to see the four lines that are in it, so that I don't have those four lines, I'm going to hit L and bring up my menu. I have my two colors selected, and I'm going to have a solid wall. All right. Sometimes you'll have to click off it and back on to reset it once in a while. That happens. And then see, here it is. And it's on both sides and it's smooth I don't have the four lines all right so then I'm just gonna do this sometimes the pieces you have to kind of play with them. Um, it just depends on how you have them. Uh, if you have crap in the way like I do. <laughs> yeah, I see wood in between that. Why is there wood in between it? Alright. So when that happens... I'll just knock stuff out and rebuild it but there is wood in my way I can see it this is no big deal anyhow this was just like a generic I was showing somebody something earlier uh, all right let's see Mm 
There, now nothing's in the way. See, there's, I could see wood in between them. It's not giving me the smooth texture. There it goes. <clears throat> for some reason, stop there for a second. I'm so glad to be rid of this. Like the log cabin was nice. Um, I actually copied this world from uh, this build. My This house is in another world. And I brought it over here yesterday. I'll just rebuild these cupboards later. And the log cabin is nice, but it'll be so much nicer just to go back to uh, And because it was a log cabin, I have to I still have to keep double walls because of how this is built, like the rest of it. You can't use the hammer when you're when you have the uh, this menu brought up. You can't use the hammer to demolish, so you have to like unequip and then reequip the hammer in regular mode to destroy pieces. I always like to start on the end. I know it seems redundant, but I always want to make sure. Oh, and see now the top layer is this color. And I also want it smooth. I know a lot of people might go faster. Uh, but I want to make sure that they're lined up because I, I did it yesterday and I had to redo a part in my kitchen because it actually didn't quite, it wasn't quite even. All right, so now that's done. And then we want to do this type of an effect uh, with the outline with the border. So then what you do is you get your hammer out and you're going to come down and pick your piece and then you're going to hit L for your menu and then those are this color down here and then I want the uh, smooth on it. And let's see, why is it not adding the color to it? I'll just redo it. Sometimes you have to go off it and come back on it. I'm not quite sure why. There, now it's got the color on it. I 
want these at the snap point. And it's not snapping. There it did. This outline um, is what takes the longest. Because you have to make sure each piece snaps where it's supposed to. So that it lines up with the ne next snaps. Because you want nice straight lines. You want it to look nice. Oh, and that's right on the snap, isn't it? There it goes. Sometimes it could be a real bugger. If you get top and bottom, the middle, oops. Up. The middle piece usually the middle piece usually snaps in Why is that not even? I'll have to come back to that one. Let me finish this. That one's not going to be even either at the bottom. I see it. Let me get all this crap out of my way. Didn't even think about it. I wasn't sure what room I was going to, or what part of the room I was going to do in the video, so I didn't clear this crap out, and I should have. All right, let's see. All right, so first things first, let's replace that wall. And that's the nice thing too, if you screw something up, you can go back and fix it. You just have to remember to change colors. <clears throat> See, the color went away. Why did it do that? It's even on the top, but not the bottom. Because that piece didn't go in the uh, snap position. That piece. Okay, all those did except for this one right here. It didn't go in the the snap position. There it is. All right. Oh, this one too. I see it right there. All right, now it is. All right, now they're all even. And then you want to take this one and go this way had a world save there sorry and the world save goes it freezes me right up
Mm, that one did not look even. Hmm. Let me go back here in a second. I'll look at it. Right there, it looks a little lower. Hmm. Could just be the weight shadowing. But there, that's how you do it. That's how you get this kind of an effect. Um, getting rid of that log cabin wall. And then I have to do this here on the outside, this corner. Uh, I'll do that on the outside. And then I'll show you the outside. And it's nasty raining. So then I did this on the outside. It has blue siding with that brown trim. And then I have to go up and do the top up there. But I have to replace all that wood. So, and then you can do the double-sided um, awnings also. So the double-sided awnings, and I'm going to put windows in over here. Like this whole outside is going to be redone. It was just a copy-paste of one that I had had in my modding video world. If you guys remember um, for my videos, this is that house. I used plan build, copied the house, and brought it here. Which I'm going to be doing another video on that also. I gave a sneak peek at it. and he they, They've had so many updates and stuff done to it. Okay, so now we're going to do the ceiling. So now on the ceiling, what you do is because I want to do the um, roof pieces also I do them all in one swing so you're gonna this this you're gonna pick the hammer like when I was making pieces I pick over here when you're building something you pick from here if you're painting over something you're gonna pick the repair so you're gonna click that open the menu same deal you're going to pick um, the color that you want on the ceiling, which I use the same on the ceiling as I did in the outline. So I pick that the same. And I want it to be, um, let's see, my outside is this color. No. It's the same color and I'm gonna do it on double texture because I want it to be on both sides so then I just start I pick a spot and I go now all you have to do for the in in between slats you'll see in a second here you're gonna find like little nook and cranny pieces that that stick in not so much on this part of the roof as I had back here see like back here there's right there see there's this right there there's this little fine in between spots like that you just have to make sure that you go real slow over those um, and the, they'll be like here's one here like right there I just haven't gone back over it yet in there you just have to look for those like in between highlighted spots and find out where they're at to be able to um, change the color to them so um, like I said I didn't go back over all that so what I do is I just start here and it's your hammer like if you were building that is the button that you push which is the same for all of it whether you're building a piece or you're painting over you're going to use that same action button I think it's E I use a controller so for me it is the A button um, on an Xbox One controller but it is E is the action button well no let me see E is yeah E is your action button I'm not sure what you guys hammer is but whatever your hammer button is is what you're going to use and that's what paints 
the same same one you use as building. And then usually all I do is walk. I think I'm around the table. Yeah, the table is in my way. I just walk in the circle and hit my hammer. And then say you screw a piece up. Oh, I'll show you what I mean. And I don't say screw it up, but you know, if you do something you didn't mean to do, you can go back and fix it. It's no big deal whatsoever. You're just painting. All right, so say you accidentally, oops, I hit that one and I turned it brown. I didn't mean to do that. So then you just go into your menu, right? And you pick the texture that it is. It didn't choose that there. You want to make sure you're on the hammer and smooth. What is that? That's oh, that's red. I was going to do the wrong one, huh? And you just do that, and you're done. You paint it right back over it. So if you do get the wrong color, it, it's not the end of the world. It's an it's a real easy fix. But that's how you do it, guys. It's, it's such an amazing mod. So basically all it is is enable your hammer. Open your menu. If you're going to build, pick the piece, vanilla pieces that you want to do. Say you want to do a piece of stone floor. Then you're going to hit L, like Larry, and open up your menus. Then on the left-hand side is the texture palette. You're going to, like, pick your color that you want. Say you want it to be this marble right here. And then you're going to come over here and pick, like, smooth. If you pick the first smooth on your left, the pattern will look like that. If you pick the 1-1 one, one pattern... Then it'll look like this. So the one one gives you um, the pattern that you actually pick, that you're actually looking at. All right, that's the difference in these mesh palettes. Like, see, it'll make it round. This one is going to give you like a tabletop. This one is going to make it look like this, like an upside down table. And then this one is going to look like a peg, a little round peg. So, and then these textures give you a different, an actual different look. Like it looks like that, or it looks like that. So, pick the mesh that you want. And then you have a double-sided also, but that's not for the stone floor because you can't double-side the floor, uh, any of the floor pieces. He's working on that also. You can double-side walls and roof pieces. And by roof pieces, this is what I mean. So if you're on a wall and you pick the double side and then you go over to a roof piece and you pick that color. So... See how it's wood on one side? And then when you turn it, it's the marble texture on the other. Those are the two textures I picked. Now, there isn't a double-sided texture thing here in green. But if you go to a wall piece, like, go to the roof piece that you want, okay? And pick your colors. Like say you want this color and that color. Or I'm sorry. This color and that color. Right? Pick your colors. Then go over to a wall and hit double sided. Because that double sided is not on. Isn't an option on the roof pieces. But if you pick your colors. And then you go to a wall and hit the double sided. Then you'll have um, the double sided. 
like after you pick the the green i'm sorry after you pick the green double-sided go back to the roof piece that you want that way there's your two sides there's the blue and white and then there's the stone now the stone because let's see if we can pick smooth if it'll let me do it no um on the double sided the stone will not look like stone unless it's a wall on the roof it it can jumbles it up into the four sections and what i mean by that is this okay so we'll do stone on both sides so this mesh here on the left has the four lines in it like the wall does right so if you want a smooth texture now see it looks like stone all right the roof pieces the stone it doesn't work that way you have to make the stone the outside piece and not the inside piece or it won't work and i'll show you what i mean see if i pick smooth up here in the top left or top the top right under meshes see how it looks like stone because i have it as a secondary color but if i make stone my primary color and i do the blue as my secondary color and i hit smooth it doesn't because it puts it on the four slats it does not make it smooth not sure why because that's supposed to be a smooth texture and it's supposed to be smooth but it's not so i'm not quite sure if that's something he's working on also i don't know but the smooth texture here doesn't work all right yeah it doesn't work so that's how that works anyhow you want to make the stone your primary if you want it to look like stone on the um, roof pieces because see if i change it back and i do uh let me see i want to do stone smooth secondary stone has to be your secondary color to look like stone that way it's on the outside i don't know why because see that would be to me the top would be primary that's why i keep getting confused so if you want stone to look like stone on a roof piece make it your secondary color because see even on the bottom the blue is now a checkered pattern even though we have smooth enabled up here we clicked on smooth the only thing that is smooth is your outside color which is your secondary now if I click on this one over here it didn't change anything at all so I don't know what the difference is in these two palettes because they're they're not making like nothing is changing as far as the look and the texture so i'm not quite sure what that is but that's the only way to get the stone smooth is to make it the secondary texture so that it's your outside texture and not the underneath all right so that's how that works as far as now if you wanted it one color you wanted your roof piece just to be one solid color top and bottom then what you would do is just pick the same color for your primary and your secondary and even that yeah that mesh i don't see a difference at all with that mesh because it's supposed to be smooth at least that's what the picture looks like and okay now on the outside it made a difference let me see see there's a little tiny gap 
in the between the wood and the roof piece right there. There's like a little gap. Now let me see if I do this one. Yeah, now there's a big gap. So it does the top piece. It doesn't smooth the four lines on the bottom. Okay, so I see the difference. So if you want stone to look like stone, it doesn't matter what these mesh palettes are. You just have to make it your secondary texture. Secondary. And primary. Let's do a different color. Primary. Yeah. See, if I do that... primary color yeah so now if I do stone as my secondary color like I was saying now it looks like stone so if you want stone to look like stone it has to be your secondary color which puts it on the outside the top if it's on the bottom it's got those four lines and then the piece of wood that goes sideways and it busts up the texture and makes it look really um, I'll show you one more time makes it look really tacky because it it repeats it four times and then across the center and it squeezes it all together so it looks terrible so that's how that works uh, for roof pieces now everything else is single color meaning if you want this board, it's only going to get one color. You can't do one side of the log one color and the other side of the log another color. Everything else in the menu that is vanilla, so these from here down to there, the vanilla pieces. Um, let me see if he fixed this one because he was working on logs. But I don't know if he fixed it. I, I haven't asked him, to be honest. I've, I've been having issues with my computer. No. So logs still are not part of it. So these four pieces are not included in that. Um, and I don't think the fence is either. No. So it's going to be... Floors get one side, walls get two sides, doors, gates, steps, ladders all get one side, roof pieces all get two sides, the roof crosses get one side, the poles get one side, um, he's working on the iron poles and the log beams and then the stone um, all, all get one side I don't think there's two sides to the I'll be honest I've never tried it so let's try it I've never tried um, no just one side so whatever um, Whatever color you put in the primary is what color it's going to be. But it's going to come out a marble texture. Remember, it is a stone floor. And there's no um, options over here in the mesh palette to change that. Like you can with the floor. Like the floor gives you a mesh palette. The rest of the stone pieces do not get a mesh palette. So you cannot change the pattern. Like... I, it's the same piece and remember it can look like that or it can look like this well if you do a wall you're, you're going to get that you're not going to get the other um, pattern so bear that in mind that if you want the same on your walls as you do on your floors for stone then you're going to have to make them the base of the wall if you want them to be the same 
because you can't change the mesh on the stone. All right, but that's it in a nutshell, guys. That's how it works. It's so simple. Uh, it didn't seem to be when I first started using it. I'm like, what am I doing? And it was user error. A lot of it was user error. Um, a lot of it was bumping heads with another mod because that mod wasn't updated or there were things missing in that mod. Um, the things that he was dealing with with this, he took care of. He has really been on it. He's a very active dev. Um, but it's really simple. Once you get the hang of it and get rid of the frustration, because sometimes it's frustrating, like it, you saw when I was building, I'm like, all right, so why didn't the color stick? Well, I had to go out and come back in or had to click off a color and back on a color. Um, as long as you can get past that until it's perfected, then this is the, this is the mod for you. But if you can't overlook little things while it's being worked on, um, then this is not the mod for you. But there's so many amazing things you can do. And I really wish I could show you the house that I did. But um, I had some problems with Bepinex and a couple other mods today. Um, because I had removed mods. And I lost everything that I had been doing over in that world. So, unfortunately, I cannot show you that. But if you go look at my before and after video, you'll kind of get a sneak peek uh, into the changes. I, I actually brought the colors here. This is the color scheme, except that red that's up on the walls, I also did on the floors. I did it differently this time. Because I want to be able to see my rugs a little better. I might darken it back down later. Because I like a darker look. I don't like everything so bright. And at nighttime, this is beautiful. The way that the, the uh, salmon color just kind of glows with all the fire and candles. It looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. So, I am going to... Finish this side, get all that wood and stuff done and torn out of there. And then I'm going to show you guys in another video when I do this side in the windows and this side. To make it look like the other side and get all the trim in the top done and everything. And then really trim it all in. And uh, put some plants up there. I am going to finish this front today, though, and I'll probably be doing that without you guys because I need to knock these windows out because you can see just how uneven this build was when I first built it as a log cabin because the log pieces are different than a full-size piece. Like, if you take a wall piece, a regular wall piece, and you put it up, and see, I can stick it inside there. And you can see how the ends of the log stick over what looks to be like an inch or so. So they're not the exact same size as a regular wood piece. It's a little bit wider. So when you put uh, wall pieces in place where these were, then you end up overlapping all those inches times however many pieces I put in on that wall, you know, going around, um, you're going to have excess. So these windows are going to be moved over and I'll probably end up with just, what, four windows instead of five. So, but at least I'm back to regular wood and everything else. And now it'll, it'll all be nice and even. I, I had to take all these windows out yesterday and I ended up throwing away two windows because of how uneven it was. So I'm two windows less, um, with the, but still have the same amount of room. So it was really weird how that worked out. All right, guys, that's it. Real simple hammer menu, L key, go to your left, pick out the colors you want, go to the right, pick out what mesh you want. If you are building, select the building piece that you want first. 
if you are painting over pre-existing, make sure you're on your hammer first. If you are painting over existing, after you pick your colors, you know, primary and secondary, then go over to your right and enable this mesh painting. Do a flat wall, do both sides if you want to make a window. If the wood that you're doing, you want it to be a smooth, there are options for some of the pieces. Um, I basically do smooth for everything because I think it looks the best, um, except for like the floor. I like this one one if I want it to look exactly the way my texture looks up above that I picked out from the left hand side um, I do the one one but if I want to kind of see what options I have then I'll pick the one to the left of it and see what it offers but that's it guys um, it's real simple to use once you get used to it like I said I'm talking like I've been doing it for the last six months and I really have only been doing it for about the last what two weeks now two two and a half weeks something like that um but once you get the hang of it and you get it going it it's like boom 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 you know you'll you'll pop it out pretty good I, like I said I gotta do these corner pieces last because here's how off those walls were you see I have pieces of wall sticking out here right that brown because the walls were so uneven when I took the the um, log out. When I took the log walls out, I was actually over um, on the end. And it's going to be the same way in the kitchen. So that's okay. It just means the outside will have to be a little bit bigger going around. And that's why I have to use double-sided or two layers of wood. To make up the difference of the thickness in the log cabin. So that's, that'll be fun to paint too. Uh, getting end pieces on there. So, Alright guys, that's it for me. I start rambling after a bit, but I'm real excited about the mod. It's fantastic. Um, you can add your own textures. I have a zip file download that has... Uh, 800 and some textures in it. A couple of the others have uh, texture zips that you can download also. I'll make sure I put all the links in the description on my final video. Um, this is just another sneak peek kind of showing you how it works. And then my final video, my showcase video on it is going to be um, how this looks when it's all done and what all it took to get me there. All right, guys, so we're going to destroy the rest of the house and go ahead and put the rest of the textures on it. I already did this side of the house. We were having some issues earlier and we resolved them, so I went ahead and did that side of the house. Sorry, guys, I know I said you guys could watch, but um, so basically I'm replacing the log walls because you can only paint over uh, vanilla pieces so instead what I'm going to do is just rip out the um, mod pieces and just replace them with textured vanilla Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I'll have to fix that on the inside. Make sure you're highlighting what you're taking too, guys, because it, it'll screw you up. <laughs> all right. So now I should have all that done. And take out these. These were just supporting beams for the um, uh, 
All right, let's see. Should be out here exactly what we saw on the inside. There we go. And what's this here? Whoops. There's, damn it. <clears throat> this is when I transported my house over. Uh, all right. So on this one, I'm going to want to go brown and brown and solid because it's a bottom piece. All right, so we replace that. Now we're going to do the outside. So the outside is going to be blue and blue. So we're going to do L. Open our menu. Pick our primary. Pick our secondary. Because I'm doing double walls. Now if you're doing a single wall, you'll want to do one color on each side. One for the inside, one for the outside. But... I already have my inside done because they're double walls. So now that I have that, now it's just a matter of getting it lined up right. And the only way you're going to know is to start that first row. I'm going to take that out and do a different color later, but I just need to get that, whoop, get that first row started so I know it's going to be right. All right, should be good to go now. Now the top is not gonna be blue, so. Oh, I see what it's doing wrong. Darn. Did you guys catch it? It was doing the uh, four pattern. It wasn't doing <clears throat> the solid. There we go. And make sure those lines are even. I did notice too, when I was doing this earlier, when I had it flipped over, see those lines don't match. They don't run straight across. Look at the top of this piece I'm carrying lined up to the piece beside it. See how the lines are off? You have to rotate it around <clears throat> and make sure that, that the lines match. Huh. Get all this wood out of the way. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> when you stop and you start building again, it, um, the lines don't match up, so you'll have to flip the wood. I found that out the hard way after I'd done like half of an entire wall, almost the whole other side of the building. And, um, well, I'm already here. I'll knock that down later. Let me just fix the color first. And then I'll go back in and grab those ones. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the ends. <clears throat> Where there's... um. Now these, I just need to go in, hit L, and just repaint them. So I'm going to go to my hammer, 
go to my two colors, enable mesh painting, solid, and then, uh, yeah, I want them on red. And then these are brown. Like that. That's another thing too. Make sure they snap right because I had them earlier. That's not snapped, is it? Yeah, it is. It'll pull it flat if it's snapped in. It just had the piece of wood sitting on the Let me snap this one first. It just had the piece of wood sitting there. It wasn't actually snapped in, so it looked terrible. And I've learned too when you're doing around windows, do the middle first and then snap the top piece into it. But make sure they snap or it'll just be a piece of wood sitting there. And how you can tell is you just look off to the side, look at it sideways. Like this. And you'll see if it's sitting flat. Sorry guys, I don't talk too much when I'm building. I, I get into the zone. I did see a screw up on the other side though too um, with my floors. But I was being attacked. And uh, I accidentally destroyed a floor. Alright, now I gotta figure out this end. See these end pieces are what's, what's digging at me. Alright, so let's go into the menu. Pick it solid. Oh, it actually went without coming through. See, it, it came through there well with this piece. Now it didn't on the top because it didn't go right. See it hanging out? Alright. There, now it's hanging out. Um, I gotta figure that out too myself because... I don't know what I'm going to do on these two corners because I have to um, take out the uh, take out the one piece that's here um, I'll show you here in just one second so I don't sit here and go uh, 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 this piece right here this log I have to take that and these logs that are going up I have to take this corner out and then cap around these pieces that are hanging over and I have the same issue um, because the log walls aren't the same width as the vanilla walls. But I have the same problem here. Because I have to tear this out and the front of the building off. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to cap that end. Um, the Here's one of the screw ups right here. Um... And then I'm painting over, so I need this. 
Um, and that's the right color, so we're good there. And then there's one more right here. And I think that was it. It was just those two, because I fixed the ones that were down here. Yeah. So I have to figure out a way to cap off this end and that corner over there. But the two corners that you start on, like I started here, I have to rip these off too, but they're even. You can see behind this log how they meet evenly. So that's going to be easy putting a piece of wood in there and having that meet. But the ones that don't meet that actually overlap and come outside, which is the, this one and the one on the end over there, um, they're going to be a real pain to try and fix. So, um, so far it's coming together really good. And I got half the roof done. So when you're doing the roof pieces, um, how I'm doing it is I have my hammer because I'm painting over and then I hit my L and I want, this is my primary and this is my secondary enable mesh painting and I want it uh, double sided. And then basically you just go with your hammer straight on down just like that. And then that will, whoops, that'll give you your double texture and your double, um, two-sided and then when we go on the inside I'll show you what I mean because if you remember I didn't have all my roof done now after this is done now it should be all done because it was the only thing I had left to do as far as that goes And then you just run along and do it. But see that wood on the edge? I need to change that wood on the edge. I need to find out. I think it is. If I remember correctly. Oh, it is because I just painted it. Well, that's good to know. That saves a lot of headache later. Um, I, I didn't know if it was a vanilla piece. but Oh, that's going to be so easy to do now. All the uneven pieces I'll just replace. And then color all the ones. Paint over the ones that are vanilla. I wish when you were running down the center like this, you could do both sides. <laughs> oh, it would be so much faster. I don't think that works like that, though. No. No. You're, you'll miss too many, so let's not do that. Let's go back to the way we were doing it. It's a lot faster. I love this um, brown and red together. It's so pretty. The brown wood in the daylight. It's um, maple mahogany is what the color is called when I downloaded the, the um, texture. I downloaded all these textures. I did a couple from uh, Badger and Norger. I think it's pronounced Norger or Norger. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I never asked, which is kind of rude of me. I should. All right, so then on these edge pieces, oh, this is this saves me so much headache. Okay, so my primary color, dark, dark, and solid. Oh, yeah, see? Then if I find one that's screwed up along the way, I can just 
Oh. Didn't mean to hit you. If I find one along the way that is screwed up, then I'll just replace it. It's missing them as I go because I keep getting world saves. Tag on it. <clears throat> it's not as easy as the other part was walking and doing it. Alright, so that takes care of that whole edge. I do see a couple roof pieces that I accidentally got in there. Alright, so that edge is good. Whoops, got a piece on the ground. <laughs> and you're just using, <clears throat> excuse me, you're just using the action button that you would use for your hammer to do this. Like, there's no special dupe to do for it. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to go fast because it misses so many. Whoop. And then there's this edge right here. Well, there's two edges. What? Wait a minute. What is that underneath? I think that's on the inside. The same color? Yeah, it's the same color. Okay, good. So even if I screw something up, at least it's the same color. Alright, now let's go down and look. Why is there light coming through right there? From the inside. Oh. Um. No. Did I? No, the trim's on the outside here. Let's run around the house and see how that trim turned out. Oh, yeah, see hundred times better. It was screaming white pine. Oh, I guess I can see inside on a lot of, a lot of them, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that trim made a world of difference. What are, that's, oh, those are ceiling boards that came through, huh? Well, we're gonna have to, those, <clears throat> Those are on the red part, so those are going to have to be red. Alright, let's go to the red. <coughs> and the solid. Because I don't want those sticking out like a sore thumb like they are right now. Yep, let's see. Oh, that's an iron beam. Yeah, see, I can't paint over that because it's not a vanilla piece that is supported. These pieces that stick out are not bothering me at all. I just paint them. It's the way the ceiling is in there. Um, and that's going to be an iron beam. I can't paint it either. It only came through on this side. It didn't come through on the other side. And that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, I might put a another strip going across that top. <clears throat> if it does start bothering me. But for now it doesn't bother me. Why is that so light? And these are so dark. Let me see something. Did I put the wrong color up there? 
No, it's just because that light is right there. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does that over here, too. Oh, wait a minute. You did blue on the top over here? No, no, no. Something happened wrong. <laughs> yeah, that happened wrong. Oh, thank goodness it's an easy fix, huh? All right, so we get on here and we go red. <laughs> red, red. I just noticed I did that wrong. I must have done that yesterday, last night. Because this is the window side. I did this yesterday. I don't know why I didn't notice that or why nobody said didn't say anything to me. Like, um, well, because I did the other side tonight. So, yeah, I guess that would be why. They probably thought I meant to do it. There we go. There, now that's done. Oh, jeez. Now all I have left to do is the front. Because... The back is done and this side is done. I do need to get back up on the roof after it stops raining and fix the couple that I discolored when I was doing that trim and figure out a way to do stuff here on these corners. And then I'll make another video and show you what I'm doing. Oh, so the ceiling. These two pieces, for some reason, I can't get them to highlight. I don't know what they're to. I tried them outside. I'm probably going to cap them with a darker piece. Matter of fact. And now I can do this side. All right. So this is going to be. Uh, we're painting. And it's this color brown which almost looks black on the ceiling and solid color whoops slow down there slick It must be around that dining room table because I can feel myself not really moving too far. And then this should be going into the bedroom, I think. Oh, no. Now I'm around the table. Jeez. I'm not as far as I thought I was. All right. Let's see. Oh, my cat crying for attention. <laughs> She's a good girl. Uh, stop. My battery. I think my battery is low. On oh, my controller. It just had a mind of its own there for a second. Alright, let's stand back and look. See what we missed. There, that looks much better. And then once I get the uh, stuff I need to finish this room, close my bedroom back off, but without the other mod, I'm going to use vanilla pieces so that I can color them. So the only things I have left to do, guys, is the outside, the front, the front and back corner, and the bedroom, and fix a couple roof pieces. And then this house is done. 
And I gotta figure out what this stuff up here is, these beams, because I don't know what they are. And I can't, um, I can't highlight them, so I can't paint them. But I think maybe I can, let's see. Will it go flush to it? No, I don't think so. Let's take a look. Yeah, I know that's not flush. They're sticking out, aren't they? Eh, not too, too bad. Not too, too bad. And then these... These need to be built or something from moving. I don't even know. But I should be able to... Let's see. Oh, I can get rid of them. Let's just do that. Might stick out a little bit, but it's better than that natural wood light coming through. That's not bad. I don't, uh, I'm not disheartened to buy it. What's over here in this corner? Oh, I see those are roof pieces, but there's like no floor. Okay, so that's an easy fix too. So I need to put the floor in. I'll just use little baby floor pieces. Oh, I didn't get it right. I hate these bright yellow... Because you can't see past them. There we go. That covered it up. It just makes it really hard to put the... Because um, I can't see. Like, you can't tell. No, see, it's not covering it up at all. Maybe I need it, like, right there. Let's try that. I'll just have to overlap them a little bit. That's all. And I think that should be good, yeah. That's decent. I think I saw some here, too, doing the same thing. Yep, so I'll have to come through here, guys, and close these gaps off because I don't like that at all. I just don't like how it highlights so bad because you can't, you don't know what the hell you're doing. There, I'll just stick one there and then I'll go off of it. That's going to look like shit. Let me see. Yeah, that's going to look like shit if I have to, like, keep going all the way across. Let's, let's see, because it's dark enough. Let's see. It doesn't look too, too bad. It's at an angle anyhow because it goes outside to this window, so that's not bad. I'm not too, too upset. I just wish that the game... Gosh, like you can't see shit. Just highlight one little part of the piece that's green. <laughs> All right. Well, anyhow, guys, we'll figure that out later. Thanks for sticking with me. And, um, oh, that's the other thing, too. I got to make one, two, three windows here. I think I said three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So if I do three in the middle and then three on each, three, six, nine, yeah. I'll do three windows here. I just left this one open for now because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go. But that's it, guys. That's painting. Like, I can't paint these window sills um, this tan because they're not a vanilla piece. So that is what it is. It doesn't matter. They look good. 
they look good. I'm happy with it so far. Not happy with that part in the ceiling over there that really has me ticked off and I'll probably play with it later tonight. But if I do, I'll let you guys know how it ended up. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy it. This mod is amazing. You can do so much with it with um, vanilla pieces. Uh, these vanilla pieces. Not like uh, furniture or anything like that. But for the building, for the vanilla pieces, it's, it's freaking awesome. You can paint, you can texturize, whatever. All right, guys. That's it for segment two. And uh, after I get everything done and figure it out and everything else, uh, I did get my other world back though, which is yay. Kudos Badger because he figured all that out. Um, he, he got me a, a file that, that will uh, not bump heads with another mod that I guess I'm using. Um, not sure exactly what was going on with it but he figured it out and it works now and I have it back uh, he made it so that in the config uh, he made a config folder so that we can stick config files into you just have to name them exactly what the name of your world is because what was happening was there's only one config folder so if I went in one world and was painting and then I switched over to another world, it would delete whatever I was just doing. So then I'd build in that world and switch back over. And when I switched back over, all my stuff was gone. Like all the work that I did was gone. And it was just plain. It, it looked just like this on my walls. All my walls look like that. All back to vanilla in this world and in my other one and he figured out a way to unlink them by creating um, a way to do it separate so it worked out great I'm really happy now I have both worlds and when all is said and done I will show you both worlds and you'll see what I mean when I said I brought a lot of that world into here because this inside is identical to the inside of the other one as far as the colors go nothing else just the colors um, so yeah I will be showing that in the end video all right guys well I hope you enjoyed it I know I ramble but you know I'm it's something I really enjoy it's, it's I I really love this mod. I think it's phenomenal. I think he did a fantastic job, especially the part that we can download our own textures. And uh, like I said in my last video, I will have a ton of textures you guys can use, these ones included. Um, and all the ones that I have um, in here. These textures are also included. These are just a handful of them. Um, the other thing too is you have to keep track of what textures that you're using and keep them in here. You can't take them out of the game. If I would take my textures out of the game when I came back, these would all be vanilla walls again <clears throat> because it reads the textures. So whatever textures you're going to use you have to keep them inside the textures folder don't take them out he is um working on a way because what i want to do is be able to have a folder that says these textures are for this world these textures are for that world because i'm only doing it in two different worlds so i'm not going to have a whole bunch of worlds that i'm going around texturizing in but at least that way they they only load in that world for those textures so it would take loading times and stuff a lot less if we could organize them and separate them all right well that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it and as always i'll see you in the next one